Hi, I'm Rachel Martino. Welcome to my sweet digs. Fun fact, this building was built in 1901. It used to be a paint factory. Come on in. I live in a 2,000 square foot loft and I absolutely love it. So this is the loft. It's a really old building and you have a ton of the original pre-war details like exposed pipes, exposed brick. I'm paying $6,000 a month to rent this apartment in Williamsburg, Brooklyn. I absolutely love this area. My favorite place to get coffee, it's great. There's actually a little coffee cart right in McCarran Park next to the dog park and that's where I get like iced oat lattes in the morning when I'm taking my dog to the dog park. Dinner, I love Cafe Mogador for Mediterranean food. When I moved in, it was just a completely blank canvas, but I wanted to create this very feminine, eclectic and fun, but still really chic and glam. And I worked with an incredible designer named Megan Hopp, and we really saw eye to eye on so many things, and this beautiful collaboration came together. One of my favorite spaces is the dining area. So here in the dining space, I was obsessed with the idea of doing something that was kind of like a 1920s speakeasy. So I actually did a wallpaper final four on my Instagram um, so my followers could pick which wallpaper they liked the best. It was really fun and this one was by far the most popular and it was my favorite as well. And I absolutely love the motifs. One of the things when I moved in, I was like, there's this crazy long mirror, but I did want to keep it because I love the history of the space. One of the biggest splurges in this space was this gorgeous 11 foot dining table and I love that I added these rainbow velvet chairs. Those were also a big struggle to find all the colors that I wanted. I love it. The bar was also an amazing project that I absolutely loved working on. I knew I wanted to work with a designer called Soil and Oak that's based here in New York. They've been on my Pinterest board since like 2015 and I was excited to work with them and I love following them on Instagram because they always have the most amazing setups uh, of these gorgeous bars or shelves in New York apartments. I feel like I've, I've been pretty lucky with this space. We haven't had too many things go wrong, but I will say when we had the bar glass come in for the home bar, <laughs> even just looking at it, it's like this thick. And immediately I was like, I do not know if the wall is strong enough for that. But fortunately we were able to find a solution just adding like, basically adding another layer of wall so that the there was enough uh, for the shelves to kind of grab onto. Here is the living room area. We picked this pink curved sofa sectional um, in this kind of blush pink velvet, which I absolutely love. It really helps define the space, but it's really inviting. I think right when you come in, you see this gorgeous U-shaped couch and you just want to sit and relax and enjoy the space. The kitchen is right here. This is sort of the heart of the home um, and it's where everybody ends up coming to sit when they come over. I was lucky it was actually newly renovated before I moved in, so it's pretty much almost exactly what, what I saw when I saw the place for the first time. So these actually used to be windows, but they were covered up at some point due to air rights, very common in New York. But I actually love the exposed brick and the entire place has a really cool old world New York industrial vibe, which was what really drew me to it. Um, but I wanted to create my own feminine flair to it. This area is another one of my favorite areas of the space. It's, I, I call it like the reading nook. Um, it's another living space and you have these gorgeous big oversized windows with this beautiful exposed brick. I love the pop of yellow with this cute little couch and I've always wanted a swing chair and this one I think is so cute. Everybody always wants to come and sit on it uh, and you can sit on it, it's safe. I don't know what it is, but my whole life I've always wanted a swinging chair. Whenever I see it in decor or at studios or anywhere, I just think it looks like so much fun. Um, so I really wanted to incorporate a hanging chair and this one I think is really chic. And it's just one of those things that no matter who comes in the space, they're gonna end up sitting on the swing chair. This is my favorite spot to relax in the apartment and it's also Taxi's favorite spot. This is my one-year-old cockapoo, but he's always curled up on this couch. And right off of this area is the bedroom. It's actually a really cute, cozy bedroom. It's not very big, um, but it gets a ton of gorgeous light. And I absolutely love the white exposed brick. 
So the bedroom was the one space I wanted to keep more neutral and not do a ton of color. So as you can see, it's mostly neutral and white. And as you can see, it has these radiator covers that span the entire length of the wall. It's like kind of a built-in shelf. Plus it keeps it warm in the winter. I'm excited to show you my favorite piece of the apartment. And it is a 400 square foot studio within the apartment. I myself have been a content creator for over 10 years and it's always been my dream to have like a studio. What I love most about having a production studio in the space is just meeting new people. I really love having people come through the space, seeing what kind of unique projects that they're working on. Um, and they've been so many different types of projects. And because it's so feminine, we have a lot of female focused projects, which of course is near and dear to my heart. So first I started with the bookcases. These I absolutely love and I love the color. It's this rich, beautiful terracotta and I get to style it with all my favorite little trinkets, my books, and it's fun because I can always restyle it depending on my mood or depending on what kind of photo shoot I'm doing. This is definitely the most photographed space in the house. Um, when people come to take photos, they always want to get a photo in front of the pink bookshelves. Uh, this area over here is this like very glam vanity station. I actually get ready here myself every day, um, but it's also available to people who rent the studio. What's my favorite part about the home? I just love everything about it. It's hard to pick one specific thing. I definitely love how open it is. For me, because we decided to rent it as a production studio, it has tons of space for people to come and enjoy, to take photos, create videos, and that's really what drew me to it in the first place was just how open it was, and you can really accommodate a lot of people here. My least favorite thing about this space is that it doesn't have an outdoor area, but we are really close to a really beautiful park called McCarran Park, so it's okay, but I do miss having an outdoor area. The space is always evolving. I always wanna try and incorporate new things, but overall I feel like I'm actually finished with the design, which makes me really happy. So it's more of a matter of changing up things for the seasons. Fortunately, there's no other big projects, but you never know, I could change my mind tomorrow. That's what's great is, you know, if you wanna try something different, you can.